Can TNT's Inside the NBA go 82-0? Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith, Ernie Johnson, and Charles Barkley will be on this roster as it was just confirmed that the 2024 through 2025 NBA season will be the last time this group will be together. Today, they will have their own expansion team in the Eastern Conference known as the Pittsburgh Phantoms, and we will be surrounding these superstars with great role players to see just how many championships they can win and if they can do the impossible by going 82-0. We are nowhere near an 82-0 record. This is not a bad season by any means. I'm not worried about this team come playoffs. I also did throw a prime Draymond Green on this team because he's doing something with TNTs inside the NBA. I'm not too sure what it is. Charles Barkley somehow won most improved player despite not playing last season. All right, do we not have any all NBA players, bro? Okay, Shaq and Barkley make the all NBA third team, which I'm fine with that. Charles Barkley also makes an all defensive team and Shaq does not, which is super surprising with the first seed in the east at the moment player stats ernie johnson the goat 24 1 7 2 steals is in his rookie season got mentored by steph curry shaq with 25 12 3 a steal over a block how did he not make a higher all nba team draymond green 11 8 8 2 steals over a block kenny smith only 9 and 7 and a steal but this is his rookie season he's only 21 charles barkley 18 12 5 over steal over a block off the bench, we got Moses Moody with 7, John Wall with 13 and 3, Kevon Looney with 3 and 6, Dario Sarge with 7 and 4. Then we have Gary Payton, Sasha Vezinkov, Keon Ellis, Kobe Jones, Trace Jackson Davis, and Brandon Podzemski. I had them two in the G League this past season. We got them through the expansion draft and through some trades that I just had to make because we had some cracked players based on the expansion draft that I just didn't need. As we easily do make the finals, we're playing the Kings mainly because I gave them a lot of the expansion players. I had because I wanted the Kings role players off my bench. So their roster consists of Lillard, Malik, Jeremy Grant, Keegan, Sabonis, Wyatt, Dan coming off the bench beyond me. Then they have Rudy Gobert, Clay, PJ Washington, Jamie, Harrison, Barnes, Trey Lyles. So their roster is really stacked. We honestly might lose since I did that. Might have been a huge mistake by me as we this tied at 2-2. We go up 3-2 and we win in 6. Charles Barkley just carrying the team. Despite 20, shooting 28% from three, he did win finals MVP with 20 points, 14 rebounds, five assists, over a still over two blocks. Like I said, we were nowhere near the 82 games. We were 20 games away from getting the 82 games. I would like to at least win 80 one season. So there's a lot of changes I'm going to have to make to this bench. And maybe Kenny Smith just comes off the bench as a six man. Honestly, we made pretty good progression from last season. So far, we've only lost nine games, which last season we lost 20. So that's a lot closer to the 80 win mark. It still seems so far away, though. I mean, I've tried to do this for the past like two or three videos now. And it's been difficult. I can't even lie. I might. I don't know what to do. We win 72 games. Which is fan. Fantastic. Alexander Starr did win Rookie of the Year. Kevin Porter Jr. back in the league won Sixth Man of the Year on the Lakers. Do we have any all Shaq? There we go. Shaq and Barkley both make the All NBA Second Team, which is fantastic. Charles Barkley is up to the All Defensive First Team as well. Once again, no Shaq on the All Defensive Teams, which is super odd. We're the first seed in the East. Shaq with 27, 13, 3, 1, and 2. Okay, Bo should be an MVP talks with these stats. Barkley with 21, 14, 6 over a steal. One and a half blocks. Honestly, Sha Shaq, Shaq should be an all-defensive on an all-defensive team. Is that, is that simple? Draymond with 11, 7, 8 over a steal and a block. Ernie Johnson with 21, 7 assists and a steal. Nikola Topic took him in the draft. Average 10, 6 and a steal as our starting shooting guard. Kenny Smith off the bench with 10 and 5, which he's getting like 20, 23 minutes a game, so I, I don't know how to feel about that. Trace Jackson with 6 and 5, Moses Moody with 7, and Podzimski with 8, 3, 2 assists. Is up to an 82 overall. Should probably start for us, but oh well, he's not. We are playing the Bucks in the second round so far. We haven't lost. As we're playing the second seed of Pistons, we have K, Jaden. Okay, they added LeBron, which is huge. They also added Drew Holiday, Kelly Oubre. Bro, what's going on in, in the... For the Pistons, jeez. All right, we're going to take this game by game because they low-key got a deep roster as we do go up 3-0, and then we sweep them. We're either playing the 5th or 7th seed out of the West, so this should be light work. We're playing the Mavericks of Luka, Kyrie, Dante, Exum, Olivier, Maxit, Prosper, who, wow, 11-6-5? and 
That is not bad. Shooting really well from the field and from three. They also have Derek Lively, Daniel Gaffer, Jaden Hardy, and Josh Green. I'm not worried about this team as we do win in five. And Shaq wins. Oh my gosh. Finals MVP. Averaging 33. Only nine rebounds. Three assists. A steal over two blocks. Shooting 69% from the field. That is crazy. I will simulate another season in hopes of going 82-0. If we get closer than we did this season, then I'm going to simulate two seasons. We're just going to see how it goes. I knew we were cooked this season whenever we literally lost the very first game of the NBA season to the freaking Bucks by like two points. Also, the league rule got passed where games are a lot shorter now. And Luka is still averaging 25-7-7. That is actually so insane. Charles Barkley, apparently our best player on the All-NBA first team. Shaq on the second team. That's all we got. Charles Barkley, once again, All-Defensive first team. Still no Shaq on an All-Defensive team, which might be the most surprising thing about this video. Shaq was 17-8-2-1 over a block. Charles Barkley with 14-10-4-1-1. Like I said, sets are going to be a little deflated because the games are a lot shorter. Ernie Johnson with 15-5. Draymond with 6-5. Five, a steal, a little over half a block. Nikola Topic was seven and five. Podzimski was seven, three, two, half a steal. Kenny Smith was six and four assists. Trey Jackson Davis with four, and then Moses Moody with four as well. I think I just gotta improve the bench a little bit. Maybe, maybe I just get rid of Prime Draymond, bro, and he'll just like come off the bench or something. As we do make it back to the finals, this man is winning every single award for us. Charles Barkley is the goat of the NBA. As we are playing. The Nuggets roster, which this is still pretty similar to their base roster in the 2024 season, which is super surprising. We do win in six. Charles Barkley, another finals MVP. This man has got to get his three-point percentage up. It is constantly in the 20s, and I will go ahead and simulate one final season. I hate it here, bro. Literally, we lost by one to the Hawks, by one to the Nuggets. Earlier in the season, we got blown out by the Charlotte Hornets. Are you kidding me? We've only lost three games, which is super good. I mean, we were close this season. But, bro, how we finna lose two games by one point? We're not gonna hit 80 wins. Looks like we are gonna hit 79 on the season. Charles Barkley just out of nowhere winning MVP. Still cannot shoot over 30% from three. He does make the All-NBA first team for us. And Ernie Johnson makes his first All-NBA team on the third team alongside Shaq. Charles Barkley, once again, All-Defensive. First team and no Shaq. I don't know how he has not made an all defensive team. It is what it is. Ernie Johnson was 16, 1, 6, and a steal. We had a Tyrese Maxey who had a, who averaged 14 and 3. Shaq with 13, 8, 3 assists. Half a steal over a block. Barkley with 13, 8, 5, 1, and 1. Sabonis also added him 9, 6, 5. Kenny Smith with 7, a rebound, and 4 assists. Draymond with 5 and 5. Andre Drummond with 3 and 3. And then we had Najee Marshall averaging 3. Points off the bench as we do sweep Toronto in the first round. And then, oh my, they were up like 2-1 or 2-0. Oh. We're playing the Pistons once again. We got a rivalry. Bro, what? They added Tatum out of nowhere. Donovan Klingon. Dude, what is going on in Detroit? They are making a team, bro. If we didn't have the TNT Dream Team, they would have already won a championship this video as, oh my gosh, we're blowing the 3-1 lead against them. No shot, bro. We finna blow it through. Okay, we just went on like an 18-0 run to start their first quarter. I'm assuming we're fine here. Kind of blew him out there. Looks like we're playing the Mavericks. Who have Luka, Terrence Mann, Jimmy Butler. Who Who is this? I don't know who that is. Derek Lively, Chris Middleton off the bench with Marcus Smart and Josh Green. So they don't have Kyrie anymore, which is fine. We win in four. Jarvis Barkley, another finals MVP. 17 Six, five, and a steal. Does not matter, bro. Finally shot over 30% from three. And we did not go 82 and 0. The closest we got was 79 and 3. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.